and bow. Wonderful, beautiful bow, Jamarius. You guys are ready for your recital next week. Please be sure to come to the theater in costume. We will have people on hand to help out with makeup and remember our hair. Hair should be out and in an afro. Of course, braid outs and twist outs are also acceptable. Madison, sweetheart, we've had this discussion. If you cannot get your hair in an afro, you cannot dance. I don't make the rules. This week, I want to focus on immersing ourselves in the purity and safety of darkness. Purge the bright white light that's been blinding you, that's been corrupting you. Let's begin. Besties, I am obsessed with this new skin darkening cream. It comes in this gorgeous, fresh black packaging and it really works. I felt like my skin was getting a little bright. It was looking a little impure, but this cream has helped to darken and purify my skin. I knew the man was evil. He wore a white cape, the color of corruption, the color of death, the color that blocked the purity and innocence of the darkness within me. I honestly cannot believe that the weekend is almost over. Like right now it is 19 minutes past four in the evening and oh my God, I'm not ready to start a new week. I, I just want to sleep some more if I'm being honest. <laughs> and that's the laziness in me speaking. Please tell me I'm not the only one who's feeling this way. Like, let me know down below in the comment section if you are ready for the new week because I am not. I just want to stay in bed. Yeah that bed i wish we can add tomorrow to the weekend like that would be great so as planned today is another fun video so yeah i have a nice compilation coming and it's very interesting but before we move on with today's video i want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for your continuous support and love that you guys continue to show me i am so grateful i appreciate every single one of you you guys really encouraged me in the comment section yesterday and i really needed that because i was so so worried there were good suggestions as well that i am going to consider thank you very very much guys for understanding i really appreciate it and right now it's about to rain so um yeah like nigeria rainy season is crazy i hate raining season oh my god so today's video let's go there question where will you be traveling this summer new lagos how exciting i know the bright lights of the city will be exciting to see madison mckinley you're being disruptive no it was definitely you too yes your voice carries across the classroom and you're disrupting the other students who are trying to learn madison where are you traveling this summer oh you're not going on a vacation okay mckinley how about you London? What is that? <laughs> it's a city in Europe. Do you mean a marketplace? <laughs> McKinley, in Europe, they don't have cities they have marketplaces like i'm really enjoying this flipping situation things that's going on like if you guys saw day before yesterday's video that i had to repost yesterday you know they've successfully made themselves the norm um otherizing them like this really is like fascinating yeah i'll stop yapping now and let the video continue sorry where the natives go and trade goods and services that they can bring back to their village Exactly, Jamal. They barter. I'm sure it will be exciting to visit such an exotic country. And maybe it will help you to feel more grateful for all of the things your parents gave you by moving here. <laughs> not London. Oh my God. Not London being called exotic. <laughs> Welcome students to an illegal European village. Despite being uneducated and unskilled, Early colonizers were known for their cunning immorality. Using deceit and manipulation, the Europeans forced these buildings to be built on Powhatan land without anyone's permission. Now, many of you all might be confused. How did primitive, uneducated European colonizers build such an amazing structure? Historians know that the large buildings and bridges that we see in Europe were built by aliens. Oh, <laughs> I like this one, I like this one, oh my God. <laughs> I love that she incorporated that into this video, like the concept of that um, 
um, saying, you know, either claiming the glory for themselves or giving the credit to aliens. Like we hear some of them saying that aliens build things like the pyramids. Remember that Leo Frobenius guy we covered here on the channel that came to Africa like in the 15th century. He said he met like nice political structure, a civilized group of people and they had like majestic arts, military, everything was like going great. And then he came along and was like, oh my God, no. We're not going to say these people did it because of course they cannot do it for themselves. He could not believe. He just cannot accept the fact that we Africans made those. So he came up with the trans um, Atlantis theory that stated that um, some time ago Europeans were here in Africa and they were the ones that actually like made those stuff. Like it's just wild when these people do these things. It's insane. But here in America, things were different. These large and gorgeous buildings were built by architectural geniuses from Africa. And that's a fact, really. That's right, kids. These beautiful buildings that we're all so proud of were built by people that look a lot like you and me. Well, not you. What does that name tag say? Chad A. His name is Chad. Chad. <laughs> Sorry, not you, but the rest of you students have so much to She's be proud really, of. She's really, she is. Oh my gosh, your daughter is so cute. But that hair, <gasps> it's so flat. Do you think it'll get darker as she gets older? Mm-hmm. Well, if all else fails, you can just oh perm it. Excuse me, Madison, what is this? Yeah, that looks like a dress code violation to me. No messy buns, to the principal. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Melinda Madison. Sorry. Listen, I'm gonna come right out and say it. Your hair is an HR violation. <laughs> she doesn't hold back at all. Like she does not hold back. Yeah, you can't come in here with your hair all flat and unprofessional. Uh, if you can't get natural body, have you ever thought about a perm? Knock knock. I'm looking for the owner of this home. The new owner. You're the owner? You're gonna be living here in this home? Okay. Yes, you're just not what I was expecting. I'm not saying that, you know, because you're, um, what? Notice how she steps back. Um, it's just this neighborhood is <laughs> so traditional. I was just thinking the other day, you know, what if a European American family moved here to this neighborhood? That would be. So, that, that would be so neat. Anyway, I made you this meal. I'll just leave it here on the porch. It is seasoned. Not how Asian is seasoning. Oh my God. <sighs> um, I don't know any ethnic recipes. I don't even think I have mayonnaise at the house, but. European food, like white people food, being called ethnic. <laughs> Um, you should try this. It was my grandmother's recipe. It's just an, an all-American dish. Okay, um, bye. Uh, <laughs> bye, old chap. Morning, Margin. Could you hit three for me? You're not Margin? Huh, you two could be twins. Do you know her? She works on the third floor with me. The fact that these people still believe that all black people know all black people. Like, how do they? Let's continue, okay. Yeah, she's European American too. You're just here for a meeting. Well, do you have any sisters? I bet Margin's your sister. You know, your <laughs> hair reminds me so much of my old pet mouse. Yeah, her hair was like grayish brown. Yeah, it's cute on you. Looking professional is really important to me, so I could never wear such an exotic hairstyle, but it's really interesting on you. Yeah. White people's hair being called exotic hair. Somebody help me. I cannot recommend this movie because it promotes white magic and the princess doesn't even look like a princess. I am all for diversity, but princesses should look a certain way. Otherwise, it is confusing. <laughs> Ugh. Catherine! Catherine! Oh. Here you are, old chap. Can you get me a cup of ice for my spin drift? 
my spindrift. It's gone warm. <laughs> This is how they are on Let me reiterate that some of my very best friends are European American. We'll just set it there. However, thanks, old old chap. These movies must get back to traditional values instead of corrupting kids with the woke white magic agenda. Hello, hi, I'm your pediatrician. I have to say, it's good to see both parents here today. That's so important in your community. Right, mama? Especially you, we need you to stick around. We have to keep little T. Weiler on the right <laughs> side of the law. T. Weiler? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Tyler is his name? Okay. No, I'll get it. It's wacky, but I'll get it. I'll and I agree, like Tyler, it's like, people that fix tiles like Tyler and that's what we literally call them in Nigeria like people that fix tiles we call them Tylers yeah it's it's wacky <clears throat> right let's have a look at little Trayvon so his hair is a little disheveled are you able to care for him properly mm -hmm. and what about his diet do you have a grocery store in your community or are you doing a food bank and does he have access to weapons in the home are you sure you know, it might be good to have someone come by and just check on that. Yeah. Gals get excited. The art department at Spellman sent me new, never before seen European American art. I have been researching and analyzing this piece for the past few days. Although it's impossible to know who these people are, many historians believe that this is one of the first depictions of European American gang violence in action. Yeah, they look like they are up to no good. Honestly, like look at the picture. Up to no good, I tell you, definitely. They look like they're traveling across the sea to go destroy a particular community. Um, just gang, doing gang-ish. We need to call the police. Early European American gang members would wear dark colors as a disguise. They would use these colors of purity and innocence to recruit unsuspecting young European American men into their gangs. But if you look more closely, you'll see white sin everywhere. From the whitewashed American flag to the stark white pants the gang leader is wearing. Another fascinating thing about this painting is it depicts the traditional white sash worn by all new European American gang members. Historians claim that all newly initiated European American gang members had to wear this white sash either for their first year of membership or until they committed their first mass murder. And let's take a look at the environment for a minute. This European American gang appears to be crossing an icy body of water, and this could symbolize European Americans' aversion to warmth, both physically and metaphorically. The picture says it all, truly. Hmm, quite sad. This is why you have to be careful around these folks, that they are just dangerous. Into gangs, you see the swords. Oh, who walks around with swords? Who? Besties, these gas prices. America is the trailer park. Ugh, we cannot buy this house. This paint color is so trailer park. I don't know, are these types of plants trailer park? They don't bring drinks down to this part of the beach anymore. I told you this resort is getting so trailer park. The nanny got all trailer park on me today because I said I didn't want her speaking European to the children. Oh, <laughs> so close. Could I have a glass of the rosé? Oh. Is this your seat? It really is wonderful to see you here. It's all about hard work, right? No handouts. I had a sister who was European, so I feel very close to you people. She was adopted. My parents did end up rehoming her when she was around two due to some behavioral issues, but you know, it was a different time. And what are you mixed with? Oh, you're just European American? You know, I never would have thought that. I think it's because you you carry yourself so well, such poise. What is your name? Keisha, a good name, a strong American name. Your parents wanted to make sure you could succeed. Yes, I love to see that. 
could you flag down the flight attendant? Yes, I really want that rosé. You know, you two could be twins. Yes, you could. Come in. I just, I have to find your resume in here. This is it. I. You're Tarnisha Williams? Okay. We had a phone screening last week. Okay. You just don't look how you sound on the phone. <laughs> but I'm all for diversity. I love it. Yes. Okay. It says here you are a recent graduate from Hayvard. Harvard, Har Harvard, Harvard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it's very prestigious in your community. I have never heard of it. But Me neither, never heard of it. Mm. People go to all different types of colleges. You know, I have to tell you, I had a great, great, great grandfather on my mother's side who was a European prince. <laughs> Yes, so I feel very connected to you. <laughs> I just... She's touching my hair. <laughs> I just couldn't. It's an interesting <laughs> hair choice for an interview. Today, Cadence Owens will be joining us to discuss the unraveling of the American family. Cadence, tell us more. Yeah, so what we're experiencing right now is a war on families, and it stems from European American mothers buying their sons for their birthdays. These women are single-handedly making the country less safe. And as we saw this weekend, not even European tribal leaders can control their kids. This is the woke white magic <coughs> agenda in action. Howdy. Could you tell me what aisle are the avocados on? Avo. Oh, you don't work here? <laughs> oh, I didn't see your little baby. I just love little European American babies. Are those his real eyes? Well, he's still young. You know, they can change to brown. Is he your first? Your third? Oh, well, where are the other two? Your wife is at home babysitting two kids. Wow, <laughs> I hope you thanked her. You are a lucky man. I always tell my husband I can watch one, but any more than that, it's just chaos. And they're always asking for him anyway. I mean, he's just naturally so much. Oh, <laughs> somebody's hungry. A lot of the husbands I know order their groceries online. So that way they can be home and get started on dinner early. Have you ever thought of that? Oh, you wanted to get out of the house? Aw, a little daddy vacation. <laughs> oh, can you tell me where are the avocados? I like her attitude. I like she always has that smile. Oh, you know the annoying smile they always have. Like, I hate it. I hate it. They say like terrible things, annoying things, rate to the cis things, and then they have the smiles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know down below in the comment section what you think. Um, I hope you have a very lovely weekend, at least what's left of the weekend that is. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys down below in the comment section and in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.